You may have heard that Apple will be discontinuing the iPhone minis, but in case you've been living under a rock, many leaks from very reliable sources suggest that Apple won't be making any iPhone minis anymore because of the insanely low sales of them. So you guessed it, there won't be an iPhone 14 mini this year. But why did the iPhone mini fail so badly? What is up everyone, Mr. Fantastic here and back in 2020 when Apple decided to launch the iPhone 12 mini, it sounded like a spectacular idea on paper and it got me excited too, a smaller iPhone with the exact same specs, the same powerful chipset and $100 cheaper than the regular iPhone 12. That sounds like it should sell really really well, except that it didn't. The iPhone 12 mini sold out just 5% out of all the iPhones sold in June of 2021 and it lessened even more with the iPhone 13 mini selling just 3% out of all the iPhones sold in the March of 2022. So it's safe to say that it failed spectacularly. But why? So look at it this way, if we take the major population into perspective, if people want to buy a phone for their day to day use, they would need a phone that they could rely on and easily use on the day to day basis and wouldn't want to do any experiments. Because phones are a big part of our lives now, we consume all our content, all the YouTube, TikToks and all the social media on our phones and it's quite obvious that a bigger screen is much much better than a teeny tiny display. Not to mention that you need a solid and good battery to get you through your day. So when you can spend just $100 more and get a phone with a bigger screen and a bigger battery, it just didn't make any sense to buy the iPhone mini. No matter how compact it is, no matter how cute it is, the compromises aren't really worth it. The tiny display that is hard to use for a lot of people and not that great for content consumption, the tiny battery that gives you a below average battery life, it's just not that practical. It was good to have it as an option for the tech savvy people and the small amount of people that love to have a smaller compact phone. But for an ordinary person who just wants to buy a regular phone to get through his day, the drawbacks aren't really worth the hassle. Now here's an interesting thing though, according to the leaks, Apple is replacing the iPhone mini with a new iPhone Max, sounds real name, I know. So this year we'll have the iPhone 14 Max. It's basically like a regular iPhone 14 but like a Pro Max size without of course the Pro features. I'll also be making a detailed video on it pretty soon because it's quite interesting so stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this and if you think Apple made the right decision or not. Thank you guys so much for watching, drop a like on this video if you guys found it useful and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. This is Mr. Fantastic and I'll catch you in the next fantastic video.